Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to look at the exciting new improvements when grading in flame with the tangent panels. This predominantly applies to the arc and element control surfaces. Now working with control surfaces or panels is not new to the Flame products. But with the introduction of the effects environment, image toolset and the master grade, the way the panels work has been redesigned to give you the most pleasant and effective grading experience. So we'll break down the typical grading workflow and go through the various everyday tasks using the panels. So here you have a timeline with a bunch of shots you'd like to grade. Now as part of the grading workflow using panels, the idea is to use the panels as much as possible to drive the controls and the interface. There is nothing to stop you reaching for a mouse or a pen and tablet, but equally you can drive the cursor using the panels. So for picking, moving and adjusting with the cursor, you can drive flame without your hands leaving the control surface. Let's find a shot to grade and switch to the effects environment. Now the panels will update with all the necessary controls when you switch environments and this is displayed on the LED panels above the physical controls. So starting with the standard grading controls, you can use the rings and trackballs to adjust your lift, gamma and gain. It's also easy to switch between the different controls of the master grade using the panel. Now when making any adjustments, a blue LED will appear next to the specific grading menu you are working with. This means you can see where an adjustment was made without having to hunt for it and the blue LEDs also double up as mute buttons. So you can mute specific controls as you go through your look development processes. There is also a red indicator above the master grade which tells you that this tool is accessible on the panels. As you add more tools to the image timeline effects, each tab will get the red indicator, meaning it is easy to switch between the tools directly on the panel. The tangent panels give you all the functionality you need simply by toggling through the various pages. So using a button press, you have access to six pages of functionality within the image timeline effects. I am referring to primary grading, selective grading, keying, masks and output grading. This means you keep your hands on the panel and your eyes on the content. When you switch to the different tools with the panel, the controls will update in the panel's displays and the Flame user interface will update with the matching controls. So you have continuous feedback wherever you look. As you get used to using the panels, you can choose to hide the interface controls giving your image more room on the interface. A simple toggle on the panel will bring the UI back. Now irrespective of the video, log or scene linear grading modes, any adjustments will work as expected with various levels of control and sensitivity. So you can grade a shot with primaries, multiple selectives and output grades. You can also save your grades to the Explorer or copy the grade of the current shot. You would then navigate the sequence with the panels and paste grades to other shots in the storyboard reel with a click of a button. Now aside from making modifications using the rings, trackballs or knobs on the panels, you can also perform precise printer light adjustments with the buttons. This allows you to make incremental changes to the balance of colour in a shot. This is very useful to have such fine creative controls as well as fixing the white balance of a shot. In addition to the master grade controls already mentioned, the other control you can drive using the tangent panels is the RGB curves. So using the panel, you can adjust the curve as well as navigate the various points on the curve. Once you select a point, you can also shift it horizontally and vertically on the curve to make a grading adjustment on your shot. Yeah. 
When grading a production, there will be quite a few instances where you may want to isolate a part of your image. This could be based on colour, masking or a combination of both. The selectives are isolation tools which allow you to achieve just that. For example, let's say you have been working on your primary grade and you wish to isolate a part of your image based on colour. So you switch to a selective with the panel and enable the keying mode. Using the cursor emulation on the panel, you move over your image and sample a colour for the key. While you remain in the selective, you can toggle the various matte and selective views with a button press, as well as invert the selective if required. There are plenty of controls for refinement and you can even toggle between the various colour keyers and machine learning keyers, giving you access to the Deep Flame toolset. Once you are happy with your result, you can switch back to the grading controls and grade through the selective. The other means of isolation is using masks within the selective. You could combine it on top of an existing selective key or use it on its own. For example, in this shot, you could use the panel to add a G mask to the selective. You have the default shapes on a button click, or you can start drawing your own from scratch. Switching to the masking controls on the panels, you can move the mask around and rotate it to get it into position. In terms of softness, you can control various aspects including different softness modes, points and offsets using the buttons and knobs on the panels. You can also double check the masks using the different selective views. And similar to the Kia controls, you can use the panel to access the other post processes such as inversion and blurring for further refinement. You can then return to the grading controls and grade through the selective mask. Another part of the grading workflow is comparing one image to another. This is quickly done on the panel as you're about to see. You navigate to a frame you'd like to compare with and grab the image into the Explorer. Next, you go to the shot you'd like to compare and enable the comparison tools with the panels. You can access a variety of comparison choices and you can even hide the split bar if you find it distracting. Now before I conclude this video, one last subject I'd like to discuss with you is the actual mapping on the tangent panels. In short, you have the ability to call up the tangent mapper application and access all the flame functionality that is available to your panels. Obviously we provide our own default mapping that you can use straight away, but you can also run through the controls you want and map them to the panel. The next time you restart your system, the custom mapping will become available on the panels. This is all saved with your Flame user profile and not the Flame project. So that sums up the new grading capabilities using the tangent panels with Flame. And please refer to the online documentation for the Flame products to get a complete breakdown of all the controls that can be driven by the tangent panels. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. And thanks for watching.